Right here we have a program that I've just put in. I've created it in um, Aspire, which is Vectrix, so you can use, providing you you can use VCAP Pro, providing you've got the right um, uh, post processor in, shall I put it. If you've got the right post processor in, which is GRBL, either inches or millimetres, then you just at the end of the program you just uh, save it in that post processing for the G code and then all you do is file open and you, you'll see the actual file and then just open it um, and that's ready to send to the machine Right here we are in uh, Aspire 9.5. As you can see, I've created a um, a, a file. Um, this has obviously already been done, um, but I've got some letters that are obviously going to be V carved and an outline which is V carved, all done with a 60 degree bit V carving bit. So obviously there's two tool paths for this. So if you look across here you see the profile which is that one the outline and that is the letters so the first thing I'm going to do is going to edit this so I'm going to edit and what I want to do with the uh, letters is actually um, slow the edit the cutter and it gives you its, its, uh, its feed rates so it should be millimeters per minute and I, I'll take that down to about 1500 there we go okay and then the next one we calculate so we calculate it again and if you look that's calculated it now so go on to the profile which is that outer one as you can see the pass in there and I want to edit this one what I did but I did it in actually two passes um, so, so correction I did it in one pass and I now want to alter it to two passes but I'm going to alter the cutter so I'm going to use that just setting them all to uh, millimeters per minute so there we go 1500 you can alter it in candle software on the fly that's that and then go back up to here and we want to uh, alter the number of passes so we're going to use it and alter two passes there we go okay we now have to recalculate so we calculate and that's that done so now if we reset the preview we've clicked little tick there both tool paths and then we go preview visible tool paths that's your speed so you want it slow so reset this preview visible tool pass there we go right we've got our tool pass that we've done we know what it's doing right so obviously we go to save tool pass and this is your post processor that you need for candle um, you've quite a lot in here for, and I have it on the the mainframe machine but um, it says output all visible tool pass so click them output all visible tool pass to one file so it, it'll do the letters first and then the outline second if I didn't click that box at the top, say output visible tool pass, then on my machine, if I want to change bits, then it had cut the first letters first and then stop. And then the second one, I could change a cutter, zero it off, and it will go back and do the outline. But this is, I'm doing this all on one um, sort of procedure. So then you go. You were up there, tool paths, you've clicked those. Now you would obviously pick your 
um, post processor this is a list of all the post processors for various machines now what we want because I've already put it in here is GRBL millimeters which is that one and then you just go save toolpath I've already saved it and then it, you, you save it as you would normally do in a folder name it what you want and that is your GRBL G code that's your file saved close so I'll go out of that candles already loaded as you see it's blank and the machine is up there idle so what you do is file open and that'll come up this is where me now it's not showing it is it no so you have to go down to here and click all files then your files come up with G code that's the one I'm putting in that's the new one that was the original one this is a new one all the difference between that one and this one is the feed rates that's it and number of passes so I click that open and there it is comes into it and you can move it around in 3d to where you want this is obviously your majority of you got one of these you know what candle is and then um, once you go to the bottom and send it to the machine make sure because it will run then but make sure you've zeroed it off with the Z probe which is there on top of your product or your material whatever it is and you um, you've done your X and Y you don't have to do the Z because you've done it with the touch off probe okay you don't only use that if you're using a bit of paper and zero it but anyway um, you've got the probe so that's what we use so that's all ready now and then you just go to the bottom and send and that will go to the machine and then you'd see on here where it's it's actually cutting it shows you a little blob and then here you can alter your feed rates click on that and that will take your feed rates to what you want um, I like to alter it on the fly because you never know what the cutter is or how good the cutter is so it makes it easier in that sense that um, if you hear any extreme vibration or, or a noise that you don't like it doesn't sound like it's cutting crisply just alter your feed rate um, your spindle speed you can't alter on mine you would do if you had the normal um, the standard uh, spindle motor attached you could alter that but mine's on a separate box so I alter my spindle speed over there all I use is my feed rate that's it right this is just a scrap piece of timber um, plywood and it's good quality plywood and as I say it's done with a 60 degree V bit and the outlines done in two passes and the letters are done in one um, the engravings on it is just what I did a test piece for some cutting boards that I was doing for a butcher's and a sign but as you can see I'll take you up close I've not touched it I've not sanded it that's clean um, you can see the depth of it if I show you from the side um, yeah, it works very well I mean what you've got to remember and I say it in all the videos it is only a hobby machine um, it's not a pro machine if I use my pro machine I could use different speeds faster speeds uh, but I would still get the same result lovely clean cut no breaking out on top so pleased with that so that's the conclusion to the video I hope it's helped people that want to know how to use VCAV. Um, I'm not an expert in VCAV or um, Aspire. Um, I, Aspire is the one I've used, 9.5, but VCAV just the same. Um, I'm no expert, but I do know how to use it to what my abilities are. Um, and the importing it into Candle uh, as a G code and watching it work from there so as i say until next time like and subscribe and bye for now 
take care.